Hey guys, just a quick video to show you the completion of the fence. So here we're looking from the house, the little house down, and I'm going to walk down into the gate. The only thing I haven't done yet is uh, the little latch on this gate because I needed a eyelet and hook gate and uh, um, latch on this. So I just ordered one and I'll get that in soon. Opening the gate and going inside. So as you can see, going all the way around, I'm actually going to go from this side of the gate around here, past my little garden, all the way around. Um, I've done videos before. So, you know, like that post was just a post that I had. It doesn't match with the other ones, but it's okay. And I'll probably maybe put a little plant planter on top of it to kind of hang down and not be as noticeable. But I like the raw look of the logs. And I love the fact that I was able to use them um, when three years ago I stripped them all and got them ready for something. I still have a lot more, well, maybe about 20 more logs that I can do something else with. But anyways, coming to the end here. And here is the back end of the other gate. Um, well, up around here too, from that gate down to here. Behind that is going to be my um, Cobb Art Studio. So that's what all the gravel and foundation bags are for. So I think I might do that like stone masonry. So that's going to be a major project. But anyway, so here's this part of the gate. And I built this little stone wall here. And of course the mice are wanting to get in that. So we do have field mice around here. So I just planted some peppermint there so I'm hoping they grow nice and big and keep the mice out because that's driving Solomon crazy to see the little mice running through the holes there they're kind of cute but I know they're a nuisance so anyway this is the front part of the gate and it is complete and I'm going to get some of that spray on grass to do all this dirt that you saw there and on this hill too i'm going to be clearing out these trees i'm waiting for the sun to come back out because i don't really want to use my chainsaw on wet logs i don't know it makes me nervous so anyway all this i'm going to spray on that grassy but in order to do that i need a way to have a hose so recently i started working on a water containment system and coming around the back of the rv here Fortunately, I have this nice cliff. This is going to be a nice stairwell going right out of the RV, which I come out this door right here, and I can come right over and go up to my kitchen in the little house. Um, my The back of the RV here, there's this bank, so I got one of these nice big water totes that'll hold 300 gallons of water, and I'm going to run it down. So. What I'll do is I'll get a hose to run down to the area that I was just showing you with the fence. And um, then I can use that spray on seed because you need the pressure, but it's gravity fed. So it'll be easy to have the hose coming all the way down from here down to here. We'll give it plenty of pressure for the gravity fed water to come through. So. Little by little, I'm also going to do a rain catchment system on the top of the RV. And um, I, like I showed you, the, um, the container is behind it up on the bank. So I can do like gutters across there and go directly into the top of the rain tank, which has a, a lid to open and close. And then at the bottom, there's a, a lever that opens and closes it. Now, when you have a lot of water in there, that's a lot of pressure. So you need to have... A way to uh, to manage that 